Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. Y'all know that story. It's the story about the guy who had just a My Little Pony in a jar just full of gum. What? Hold up. Oh, Hold yes. up. All right. While you find that story, Mark, I'm going to run you to the restroom real quick. It, it's not so much a story as it is just a picture. But uh, yeah, you go. Because. So, Brandon, while you're going and doing that, I'll tell the other guys this. I think this one would really fuck with Brandon. It'll fuck with all of us, but I think it would fuck with Brandon more for some reason. Some video one. So, here comes. Here's the explanation behind the wrong with that man's dick? Here's, here's the explanation. I come to you today to reveal a horrible accident to the My Little Pony cum jar project. The place where I was hiding my cum jar was actually on top of a radiator that was connected yep. to our furnace. Basically, the Rainbow Dash figure has been boiled in cum. It's brown oh. now. And for comparison, I have also got another glass of cum. So yeah, if you look on the other side of his watch, there's another little jar with, with cum in it. Oh. And um, here's what's really funny is, on Etsy, oh, you can buy... Still the wrong color! No, it's because the cum was boiling. The one on the other side is supposed to be the good one, you said. Right. No, you're right. You're right. But so here's it's still way more. Ye that's like syphilitic yellow. Look, man, look, I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the kind of person that's coming into a jar with a My Little Pony probably isn't in the peak physical health. So. So I was listening to a podcast and they showed and it was a podcast that they did on YouTube as well. And they showed a video of a dude sitting on a mason jar that broke halfway through the sit. Oh yeah, one one guy, one oh, one one man, one jar. I've heard of that. Um, I think that's what Brandon's. <sighs> I think that's what Brandon's picture is 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 referencing. Okay, I thought so. And I that's think it's why a con I, I think it's gold like out. Well, yeah. So I think that's what they're saying is is as bad as things were for Rainbow Dash and that cum jar. At least it's not Applejack going in some guy's ass. <laughs> A lot of blood fell out of that guy's ass. Yeah. Really Do you know what I miss? God, I miss I'm a little worried to find I out. I miss being able to send two girls one cup to people. Uh, Jesse, where is it? You can't find it anywhere anymore. No. I think I talked about this with Brandon. Where you got? I don't know if you guys were here for this yet. Here. You said that possibly one of the girl who, you know. Right, that. right. One of them might have died. died. Yes. But I, I mentioned what the title of the actual poo. Well, did I ever tell you that I, I mentioned what the title of that film was, right? What film? The movie that that so that what what I we got that was talking about that. I just don't remember the name of the yeah. film that you. So, yeah, so the, the what we got that we end that people refer to as two girls, one cup was just a trailer for a full length porno film entitled Hungry Bitches. I mean, no one's that hungry. Apparently those two bitches were. You know what I remember go making the rounds at the same time as that? Hmm. You guys ever hear of the BME Pain Olympics? The BME Pain Olympics? No. Video of a dude cutting off his own uh, dick and then popping the testes out. What the Holy fuck? It was a real bad time, guys. Early internet was the fucking worst time to be alive. <laughs> like, like it's it so was, weird to it me. What, like, was actually happening in the Wild West. Like, it, it's it's so weird to me that there are there's like an entire generation of people nowadays that don't know what life was like before YouTube. Oh. Like, God, YouTube. Yeah, like YouTube actually has made the world a better place by just restricting a lot of this shit. No, yeah, no joke. But, like, God, I remember back in the day when you could just, like, send people videos of, like, literally drug cartels cutting off each other's head. Oh, yeah. Like, that was something was you could just... Yeah, for that shit. Yeah, you could just fucking happen across that shit. <laughs> My God. So, what do you think the odds are that Brandon just went back to sleep? I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's Sunday. You guys can just go back to bed. Oh, I'm 100% planning it. I don't think I'm going to be able to, honestly. 
I actually, I was planning on making a pot of coffee, and then I was like, you know what, no, I want to sleep after this. Well, um, so, you, Key, you know how I said I was supposed to be going out on a date last week? And on Friday? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Oh, because you so, she had to go to the hospital. She went to the hospital. Apparently, she had some kind of lump in her head. Um, that she in had to get, or on? Like, on her forehead, so... Like she has a she has a scar like she has she had to get staples in her head and shit oh and I'm like like she's she's like I'm st- I'm fine to go out we should still go out tonight I'm like I don't think you are if we're being real here I think you should go home and rest that seems like the responsible adult thing to do we're saying so, I'm uh, fine we can still go out so, like while having open head wounds sounds like a mad TV skit right. Like, I'm fine. We can still go out. There's, like, blood trickling down just a little bit. And, like, part of me is, like, man, like, I'm really flattered that she still wants to go out. And part of me is, like, this girl might be fucking crazy. Oh, I assume if anybody is interested in going out with you, they're probably (laughs) crazy. Hey, not the kind of support that I need. Not the kind of support I need in my life, okay? (laughs) I love you. No, Mark, we're not the kind of of support you want. We are the kind of support you need. I get the kind of shit, that kind of shit from my family all the time. (laughs) <laughs> i mean mark you know what they say real respect's real is that what they say brandon do you watch uh do you watch super mega no okay do you um so for those of you guys that, <laughs> so the for the for you guys that don't know what super mega is it's um they were uh a, the a, edit the edit or a, a pair of editors that were on uh that worked for the game grumps for a long time that ended up getting they're like they have their own channel now and they do their own shit but um yeah. one of the things that they do pretty regularly is uh, they do a segment they call dr- uh, it's drunk drawing they just get fucking plastered and draw various characters from various things right and one of the drunk drawing sessions they did was for my little pony oh and uh the one of the other guy one of their editors now that they have his name's Jackson and he always makes them a drink beforehand and um, for the My Little Pony one, he made them a drink that was in a miniature mason jar, and it had various like various of the ponies super glued to the bottom, and it was like a creamy Bailey's drink. <clears throat> um, so like he knew exactly what he was he knew exactly what he was doing, and it was hilarious because he's just giving these guys what appears to be a jar full of cum, oh. and. Hold up, I'm trying to find it. And like the the best part is, is he puts the recipe on the video, so you, we can totally make the cum jar bevies, Ugh. but like without no no without the ponies, obviously. Okay. Because back I don't. When, uh, back when I was a bartender, and people would come in for their twenty first birthdays, you know, there's a couple different shots you can give them for free. It's never anything like good. You want to give them just the cheap shit, but like all right, here you go. One of the things was if you were a real dick. I would give you a bad shot. Whereas if you were cool, I'd give you something like somewhat tasty. Well, one of the bad shots was pretty simple. It was called the Stuntman. It's a shot yeah. of tequila. And, uh, you know, you normally like lick the salt, drink, the, uh, take the shot, drink the lime. Yeah. Yeah, I remember an episode of uh, Always Sunny where they did it like 18 times. Well, the Stuntman is you snort the salt, drink the shot, and uh, snort the lime in your eye. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> but the worst one was if you were a real prick, I would give you a shot called the Fisherman's Load, which was a rocks glass with uh, well whiskey, and you squirt a packet of mayo into it. <laughs> I'm going to reiterate. What the fuck is wrong with you? If you come into a bar and you're like, it's my 21st, you owe me a fucking free shot, I'm going to give you one. Well, yeah, I specify <laughs> that. <laughs> Like I said, if you were cool, I gave you a good shot. Uh, fucking vanilla vodka and uh, Mountain Dew. It tastes like birthday cake. That sounds if fucking you're a prick, glorious. I ruined your life. So am I a prick and that's why you're ruining my life? I don't know. You're my friend, so I'm ruining your life. Oh, oh, oh no, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> God. Damn. Thank oh, anyway, so this, this screenshot I just sent you, that's their, that's their bartender. Um, Looks like he's going on safari. I know he's. I love him because he's got the porn stash, but he's like one of the nicest guys in the world. I'm trying to. 
I'm trying to get a safari where in Nevada, <laughs> like you know, uh, like in Oklahoma, like a Joe Exotic safari. <laughs> okay, dude, enough. he's writing a fucking memoir. I'd hope he would. Oh, it's like it's coming out pretty soon. I heard. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so illiterate. It's gonna be so bad and so glorious. I can't wait. I honestly like. You're, you're attracted to him. You Joe Exotic, are you fucking kidding me? Who wouldn't be attracted to him? Um, so, I mean, apparently a lot of people. I want to, uh, I, I would love to do something like that. Just start doing like a drunk competition type thing once I get down there. All right, Key, bad news, buddy. I think you're the judge. <laughs> All right, I'll be the judge. No, Key, don't think you're getting out of this just because you don't drink. We're going to we're gonna do it. You're going to be fucking... <laughs> chugging shit we just, oh, we just give him adderall and uh sugar <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we just we just grind up just fucking pure adderall and just have him snort it jeez key you got to participate in some way like you can't just you know not. i i would love it if you ended up like making this drink and making him drink it and then there's actually no alcohol in it but key just his brain just like there's alcohol in this oh my god i'm so drunk i would (laughs) love to do that to key just fucking guess i mean you know what no but you're you're while it would be a lot of fun like you say i've got to stop gaslighting key (laughs) um it's not it's your enjoyment (laughs) well no but here's the thing is is key falls for it you don't (laughs) right i'm immediately just like something very suspicious I feel like Mark would make this drink and then to make it work, like really, really worse and really sell it, microwave it a little bit. No, I'd just, uh, I'd just come in it. <laughs> oh, man. You'd be like, Mark be like, would actually, God, you know, Mark to get, Mark to make it like super accurate would just have like a Ziploc bag strapped to the inner side of his thigh and walk around with it all day. <laughs> pour it into a glass you guys you guys get, get your first real, to give it that real body temperature feel you get that it's first swig and you're like man this is salty as fuck what'd you put in I here would, i would throw up I would immediately just like, i'm sorry jeff go ahead be, you've been trying it's gonna be like three four years from now and mark's gonna be like why won't you guys ever accept any drink i hand you guys why don't you trust me with your drinks i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever read the comic book johnny, johnny the homicidal maniac yes. i've i've read parts yeah. of it yeah it's oh, so fucking good it's uh, good but it's one of those things that um you read it and you like you know the origins of it a little bit and obviously you know like oh well you know if you like invaders M, it's like from this and then you read like you, any you, you, you like hear the lore like the kind of like oh have you ever read Johnny the Homicidal Maniac oh yeah I know of it until you read it and you're like this book is so fucked up yes. well it's insane Brandon what you said something that reminded me of one of the one of the one of the comics from it where it's uh like Johnny shoots a guy in the head and. Uh, there's little like director's notes in some of the panels, mm-hmm. and uh, and this one is like, so in this for this shot we took a plaster mold of the actor's head and we filled it with um, old uh, chicken parts and um, some fake blood and things, and then to get a really good look for uh, for realism, we shot the fucking actor in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys? Me of that. Uh, actually that that reminds me do you guys remember uh you guys have seen tropic thunder right oh, yes course. do you guys what remember you know what talking about what'd you say jeff one of the best documentaries ever made right so in the uh like in the special features they have the thing where it's uh jack black and and uh robert downey jr and ben still are trying to figure out how to promote the the movie and they're like, you know, well, we could we could put like Kung Fu Panda and Iron Man on the the poster or something, and, and then uh, they're they're trying to figure out ways to just fuck with Jack Black. And at the end of it, they end up just filling a plaster mold of his head with uh with fu- with fucking firecrackers and just blow it up. 
<laughs> but like they don't they don't say that it's a plaster mold what you see is it's jack black sitting there with a bloody nose he's like oh please you guys come see the movie they put a bomb in my head they said they're gonna blow it up if we don't hit a certain amount and it's like okay are we done with the video oh thank god i thought you guys were actually and then his head just fucking explodes and i'm like that's fucking awesome that's actually a great reference to um another actor's movie uh, who uh, who is in that movie? Uh, the Tom uh, Mission Impossible Three. Oh, oh man! Oh, yeah. yeah, I forgot for like thirty seconds that Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise was in there. I was because I was like, was Nick Nolte in Mission Impossible? I don't think he was in that <laughs> fucking Mission Impossible. I, my friends and I went to see that movie in theaters, and it was no joke. It wasn't until the last scene where Tom Cruise is dancing around that we were like, holy shit, that's Tom fucking Cruise. That's basically what happened with me, too. Like, me, I was watching it with a bunch of my friends, and we were sitting there watching. I was like, guys, is that fucking Tom Cruise? I'm like, no, it's not Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise isn't that fat. I was like, you fucking assholes. That's fucking Tom Cruise. Can and then it, it, is, it, it was, was his idea. To yeah. Tom Cruise, it was his idea to put the prosthetics on his hands to make his yeah, hands exactly bigger. <laughs> so <laughs> funny, less fucking gross, man. Well, and then, well, well, Brandon, you you know this, and I'm sure the other guys you you've noticed this, but like I've I've got like uh, also, I'm like right... my favorite like Bill Hader roles that he's oh. ever done. Oh, yes. that was he did fucking brilliant. Right? But like you guys, you guys know that when it comes to like actors and and shit, like I'm basically Rain Man, and it's pretty fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> Another Tom like, Cruise shout out. Was Tom Cruise <laughs> in Rain Man? Yes, yeah. I've never actually seen Rain Man, so. Oh man. Um, but any, but my but Brandon, you remember uh, Robbie and and Davis when we were in high school, right? Like how I'd always hang out with those two, right? Yes. So. We this this is a, like a recurring thing where I'd be like, yeah, this is so and so from the the in the movie, and they're like, no, it's not. Uh, best example of that ever was um, when I finally watched Hal's Moving Castle for the first time. Uh-huh. Um, so Hal from that movie is voiced by Christian Bale, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, right. and the first time I watched it, I was like, yeah, guys, that's that's fucking Christian Bale, and they're like, no, it's not, and I was like, you assholes realize i've had the guy tell me to fuck off i know what he sounds like guys that's a newsie yeah he was a newsie i forgot about that that's, um that, that's a batman he was never batman that's a shitty john connor oh don't Ooh, even get accurate. Started. <laughs> Very accurate. that's a guy i could see murdering a person with an axe and also making a movie about murdering a person with an axe while listening to Huey Lewis in the news, and then comparing his car, his business card, to everybody else's business card about how you, it feels, the texture, everything. Oh my God! So I gotta be Do honest. We that's, need uh, to watch Spider-Man. American Psycho. We need to watch American Psycho. But um, <laughs> so that that scene I ever saw was uh, someone made it into a meme, where you know it's him looking at the card and freaking out. And oh, it's the, the card. Card. cards. Yes, the holographic mm-hmm. cards. Yes. <laughs> So uh, I saw one that's that's along that same lines, but it was um, it was everyone was passing around their phones with like different cat memes on it. (laughs) And it was it was the funniest shit I've ever seen because it's just Christian Bale having a mental breakdown over fucking cat pictures. And I'm just like, (laughs) this perfectly sums up the last like 10 years of the fucking Internet. (laughs) (laughs) God, we have got. So much cool shit we're doing when we get when I get back down there. Yeah, and we've also got a lot of not so cool shit we're doing as soon as I get back down there. And I'm I'm probably more excited for the not so cool shit. Dude, I don't know which one worries me more. It's the, the cool, cool shit, shit or the shit not cool shit. About. Yeah. Here's here's the thing: is is the not cool shit is going to be just as cool as the cool shit? I guarantee it. <laughs> it's just not going to be cool for us. No, yeah, it's everyone. Hard. It's not going to be awesome for us, for sure. Well, for you guys, I'm going to have fun no matter what it is. I'm going to have a blasty blast. Here's here's the thing, and you laugh, Brandon. But here's the thing: is 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 I know that while sure it may make me look like a total dumbass, it's not going to bother me nearly as much as it's going to bother you. You piece of shit. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Because I know that you you're more. Uh, like we talked about this last time, where you 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 dress to impress. You're more worried about like looking good in front of other people. Whereas I I gave I, 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 fu- I fucking gave up on that years ago. So. Well, hold on. I dress to impress myself. <laughs> exactly. I really, I really don't. Uh, or is sexy. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, I don't really, I really don't worry too much about people's perception of me. Not at this point. Well, yeah, but you know, and and that's the thing is, is I, I, I'm going to have a lot of fun, but like, just imagine, Brandon, imagine. I look at like, I kind of look at like how people perceive me and if it bothers them, I kind of like look at that as like an achievement. I'm like, (laughs) hey, dude, I am all about that. Um, but the, what you're talking about is like, I don't actively look to like make an ass of myself. Yeah. And I do. And I'm all about making ass of myself and anybody that happens to be in the immediate, immediate vicinity. Yeah. You love making me look like an ass, but you're never the, you're never the target ass. I'm the target ass every time. If that, so if anyway. that makes sense. <laughs> I, well, I can't I feel wait for like we Mark just got back down here, and for us to have show him doing horror movie or horror video games on the PSVR. I am so fucking excited for that. <laughs> and while I'm going to be screaming like a total bitch, don't worry, I would be too. I'm just glad that you guys get to be there for it, you know? Because uh, I tr- so I did try playing Five Nights at Freddy's. On my own, <laughs> I uh, and here's the thing is is I didn't get very far. I I didn't even finish the first night because I was looking at it and I was like, huh, uh, this suspense is killing me because I know that the robots are supposed to move, but they're not moving, and I don't like that they're not moving. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn it off for now. Oh my god, how funny would that be if someone made a level where the robots never fucking move? And I wouldn't it's all like just that. You fucking with your own with your own brain. I mean, I wouldn't oh. need to try very hard to fuck with my own brain. Any brand, anyway. I don't know why I said any brand. <laughs> um. I'm so tired. Well, you know, that's what happens when someone's like, "Hey, let's wake up at fucking six thirty. Oh no! Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I hate this, and I want to go to sleep so bad. But this was so this was so the right thing for us to do. Brandon, how much do you hate it? We're giggly dildos right now. Uh, what, am I, what am I hating? Just giggly dildos. everything and yeah, giggly, 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 giggly dildos. Yeah, we're yeah, being giggly dildos because we're so said, tired. Uh... Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm not a giggly dildo. I am tired to the point where my brain just went into like standby mode, guys. <clears throat> Can we make dildos that giggle when you stick them inside of yourself? No, 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 guys, no, no. Aren't there those things where, like, it makes, like, the, like, when you shake it back and forth? Like a Woody Woodpecker? Yeah, kind of. It's Why like hasn't there been a dildo giggle. called the Woody Woodpecker yet? I'm, I'm not convinced that there's not. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> Woody Woodpecker dildo oh no okay so i know what i remember you remember those weird stick things where like you turn it over it's like oh yeah yeah the those the fucking if you start moving that fast enough it'll go and we make that and put it in a dildo i thought that's where you were going originally but i wasn't 100 percent sure but i'm about that and that's our giggly dildos yeah brandon are you down for that what? We're gonna make so much creepy money. The giggly dildos that uh I'm not, you know, no, I'm not. You're okay, so no officially <laughs> licensed Sunrise of the Sleepy Boy dildos? No. i I swear to God, why is it I am constantly having to dodge and say we are not like with any project I've done with you, I have had to have the conversation <laughs> that we are not making dildos. I'm just hoping that one of these days you'll just be like, fuck, <laughs> fine, fine. You can make dildos. But do no, not be, put my fucking name on it. 
No, because uh, that that's never going to happen. Just because I'm. Mm -mm. Brandon brings up a good point. We should start talking about flashlights. Ooh, Brandon, can we make can we make Sleepy Boy flashlights? No, there will be Sleepy a blue sleep. one for Brandon. No, there'll be a there'll be a purple one for Key, a swollen purple flashlight for Key. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Just like a gaping wide one for uh, that's green for Jeff. Uh, oh no! And then a nice, a nice tight, perfectly, perfectly round orange one for me. <laughs> oh boy! I was playing ping pong and ding dang. Oh god, Barry Badenow. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Barry Badenow? Really saw where I was going with that. Who's Barry uh, Badenow? Badrin <laughs> Who's Barry Badenow? Have you ever seen Beer Fest? No, that's from the that's from the movie. Yeah. The, when he's in the car when they're uh, sitting in the car and, and uh, actually asked I'm like he's so fucking tired. Well, yeah, landfill. Yeah, landfill. Okay, Brandon, we won't make any dildos or flashlights. Is that is that better? Yes. Okay. Butt plugs. No. Can we make nipple clamps? No. Nipple clamps. Brandon, Brandon, but that would be so on brand with us. We can make crab shaped nipple clamps. <laughs> I'm gonna take your silence as a no, so we'll we'll move on from that. We'll 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 revisit this. Just hate everything. The same. Can we make <laughs> can we make anal beads that look like Mark's mom's pearl necklace? Oh my god. That's not a no. I feel like that's the only one that he's even mildly okay with. <laughs> no, I mean well, well only because your parents suck. <laughs> um but that's uh, an understatement um what 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 is it gonna say i i feel like doing doing a t-shirt of mark's mom is uh insult to injury enough i'm just saying we can name those anal beats the parental units oh god fuck <laughs> off <laughs> that's funny that's <laughs> fucked up man i don't want the i don't want no Mark, you don't have to, like, test drive our products. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's the thing is somebody has to, and we all know that Brandon's not going to wear a shirt with an orange sleeve. <laughs> what? Mark, that's why we get interns. No, Brandon we wants can, to wear We can't afford interns. Why we wouldn't I wear a shirt yet. with an orange has sleeve? Because of what the implication of that orange sleeve is. Yeah, but that's funny as hell. No, it the, is, one wants, the one he wants to wear is the one of, we all know what it is, of your mom's bust. He wants the pearl necklace, I know. I'm not going to lie, I may never wear another shirt again. If I make that <laughs> pearl necklace shirt? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much all of our revenue would just come from Brandon himself from buying all the shirts. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. I, you know what? I'm okay with making the pearl necklace shirt. <laughs> it wasn't dependent on your approval, brother. Here's the okay. Are you oh, wow. gonna well, are well, you I'm guys gonna that. design it? Uh, that's right. We that's we right. all know I'm the one that's gonna end up making the shirt, so it did need my stamp of approval on that one. I, I, I also like wouldn't be that. about. I like. I uh, I believe that. You know, any products that get made, we should go at it with a you know unanimous <laughs> decision. Exactly. Yeah. All right, is, fine. What do I... T-shirts and anal beads, whatever. T-shirts and anal beads. <laughs> you know, I feel like the I feel like the anal we bead part do, is. We could do a a t-shirt and anal bead combo. You buy like <laughs> you buy the you buy the shirt, you get the anal beads uh, free. No, not for free. Come on, Jesus. Well, we all know that it's just going to be one of those fucking plastic necklaces you get from Mardi Gras. Yeah, you but one of those big cord. ones. The big fat ones. Yeah. Oh, speed Hey, guys. it's uh, We're the Sleepy Boys. We are here in New Orleans for uh, New Mardi Gras. And you might be asking yourself why. Well, we need to restock on those anal beads. And what better place than showing off my titties? Oh, okay. oh, I was just going to say, Mark's running around lifting up his shirt and not understanding <laughs> why we're not getting it. <laughs> 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 all right guys so uh, we, we had a pretty good haul tonight i got seven uh seven beaded necklaces 
I was out there for 12 hours and you know, I'm not going to complain. This was a pretty good haul for, for 12 hours of work. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I feel like the uh, the anal bead market is missing out big time on uh you know marketing towards the homosexual community because if they just call them ganal beads for guys that'd be fucking perfect. I feel like that would come off as pandering and unnecessary. I was gonna say the unnecessary is the real part there. I feel like the gay I feel like the gay market is the one that's buying it more. Necessary? Is it necessary that I drink my own urine? Uh, well, um, no, well, I do it anyway. I like the taste. <laughs> God, can we get Rip Torn on this show with us, please? We get Alan Tudyk, but uh, specifically as Pirate Steve. Do you mean can we just get Pirate Steve on the show? Steve the Pirate. Tomato, tomato. Wait, we've got a pirate on our team. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who I was talking with the other day. Did you know that Alan Tudyk went to Juilliard? That doesn't yeah. surprise me. I was yeah, talking that's... with someone about it, and they did, and they were surprised that um, they thought Juilliard was only for music. I honestly didn't realize that Juilliard was a real school right, until about five years ago. Games. Really? Jeez. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing, though. They make up fucking colleges and shit for movies all the time. I thought they just made it up for Beetlejuice. For what? Yeah, Beetlejuice. He, Beetlejuice. He says, "What are your qualifications?" He goes, "Oh, well, yeah, I, I went to Juilliard, and I was like, okay, well, like, I graduated." Wait, uh, Beetlejuice yeah. went to Juilliard. Oh, uh, said it three times. What? <laughs> he said it said three times. times. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are they still making a sequel? I don't fucking know. I hope not. Okay, but the sequel's supposed to still have Michael Keaton. Yes. Okay, if it still has Michael and Keaton, that's exactly. different. But, like, I don't know. I feel like it's not necessary unless you bring... Like, it's, it, it won't oh, work man. unless you bring back all the original actors. Guys, I gotta, I gotta go take care of this poltergeist. He's just sitting on the bed giving me these fuck-me eyes, and I just gotta... I just gotta take care of this real quick. Hey, guys. If you just can't get enough of Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SR Sleepy Boys, or you can check out our YouTube channel, Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. You can also find us on Spotify, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker Radio, and coming soon, Apple Podcasts.